out. All right, Abu Dhabi, we have one fight left. Are you ready for your main event of the evening? Whoa, whoa. All right, a lot better. Folks, this is five rounds for the AEW Light Heavyweight Championship. Please welcome, out of the blue corner, representing Syria, Tarek Suleiman. Here he comes, Tarek Suleiman. Actually, is the underdog of this fight, this is how it but should not be underestimated. This is how the Solid Muay Thai, this solid Jiu Jitsu as well. Forget also, good wrestling guys. Well, he's a DJ Joe Black guy. So here we have Tarek Suleiman, the bear. Both athletes hold the same record, 19 wins, 10 losses. If you remember Trent's fight early on, Tarek Suleiman trains in the same gym, Tiger Muay Thai. Yeah. But just, just one information for everybody here. We're talking about a 10 year gap which we also saw on Fabio Melo fight, a younger guy. And that, I think, made a difference that back then. Let's see if it makes a difference now, because uh, yeah. Olive Thompson is 39, and Tarek Suleiman is 29 years old only. Yeah, however, Oli is a much, much bigger guy. Tarek Suleiman, the bear. He lives in Thailand, so we might see some good punches and kicks in here. Yeah, we are going to see top level Muay Thai. Something similar, I imagine, to what we saw in, uh, with Trent's fight. Not, not as much speed, though, because a much heavier category. But he is fighting a way bigger opponent. He was saying, his fight prediction is, uh, I'll push the pace, I'll get him tired, and I'll break him, his spirit round by round. That's a five round fight, so if he managed to survive, yeah, yeah, you pick him. he will put Tolly, put Oli in a bad, bad situation. Gentlemen, his opponent fighting out of the red corner, Oli Thompson. Well, here comes the British Oli Thompson. Oli Thompson, that's the winner of the Abu Dhabi Warriors. Former British strongest man. And the big shot, not even coming down, taking his time there. Only that has been the face of this event so far.
gotta tell you something, man. Those guys have you have to put a lot of action because the previous fights we had so far. Let's yeah. just recall some. This the event. Cameroonian it was amazing. This event has been amazing so far. It's a high bar to get over. Yeah. Those again, fights who have a hard time to put up a better. Yeah, but let's say now they're fighting, trying to get a better fight against the, the, the Jerry's D, the Cameroon, the, the, the athlete from the Cameroon, and Fred Gurdon, Nino Loco, the Australian yeah, boy that brought also yeah. a beautiful TKO. Rolando Dai, Rolando D. Also, with a beautiful performance now, I mean, are you with a beautiful submission? Yeah, man, the bar has been set very high. Let's see how those guys will Let's see behave here train. inside the cage. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Ubatala Arena in Abu Dhabi, Uruguay, the time for talk is over. It's time. Syrian already experiencing some love from the crowd in here. This is our last fight, the big shot. Yeah. Have the, the Spartan, the big shot with the black trunk. The blue trunk. Well, Kyle, this is what it all comes down to. Our first ever UAE Warriors event. Light heavyweight strap on the line. Karak the bear spends a little bit of time against the cage and now oh, put the left and Boy, the right. he's aggressive. You know, Suleiman yeah. takes pride in his grappling, but oh. he is letting the hands go. Look at that. He's putting the heat on Oli. Oh. Right over the top, but Oli Thompson might be might be a oh, little surprised. Oli is showing that he also can can throw. Oh yeah, you know, that's that's something that he's proven over the years. Suleiman, you look at this matchup, you think maybe he's over Oh, it. he got in the jaw. Oh, here comes the bear. He's got him in his clutches. I Can he bring the big man down? So he did. Tarek Suleiman in the biggest fight of his life right now, Kyle. And he looks strong. Is he going to win this fight right now? It's very, very exciting. That might be become, look at him surviving, all he's surviving that Suleiman is an animal right now. He is an animal unleashed. And now Ole Thompson somehow has his wits about him. I don't know how. Good transition. He avoided that takedown. Now had the wizard there. Main event of UAE Warriors. Cyrus Pease and Kyo Bell here. On commentary as Tariq Suleiman is trying to finish up a legend in Ole Thompson. I think he missed it, the opportunity here. Now Oli has the underhook. No, not that it's deep as I thought. Another oh, takedown. But now he's in the grips of Thompson, but Thompson has to let go. He really wants this belt. He wants to be the UAE Warrior Absolutely. Champion. Yeah, I mean, this is, like I said, it's the fight of his life right now. 
He's had so many ups and downs in his career, so many problems off outside of the cage. This is his opportunity to redeem himself, period, for Tarek Suleiman and to be the leader here at UAE Warriors. Yeah, he's showing that he doesn't want to lose this opportunity of, of redemption. Putting pressure, making it very hard for Oli. I was saying before, I was talk talking to Polonio, that Oli is bigger, a bigger guy, heavier guy. However, he the tendency is for him to, to guess before Tarek. Well, now, you're Tarek right. Is putting him in a, in a tough spot. Well, yeah. here's another thing. I mean, Tarek Suleiman, this is a guy that's usually at middleweight as well. Um, and he he came up in weight. He feels good. He didn't have a weight cut. Only Thompson, you're talking about 20, 20 kilos. That's I right. mean, that is a lot that he's had to cut. His last fight, what was he at? Like 112 or something yes. like that, right? That, I mean, that's it, right. when he fought Roman Webe, that is such a big difference. Uh, this is. That's the game changer in this fight, and I think Ole Thompson did not have a wonderful cut at all. No, but th it was he made a, it. Sta I mean, a statement of his professionalism that he no. made the weight. Yeah, I mean, definitely not questioning the professionalism. I'm so impressed that he made the weight, and now he's trying to get to his feet, but Suleiman yanking on his neck. Doesn't look like he has anything, though, and now Thompson might make him pay. 90 seconds left here in round one. Yeah, let's see if Thompson is able to break that grip and get out of this lock. Yeah. Oh, he's complaining that his uh, that Tarek is holding the glove, not the fingers. At this point, he should not be focusing on complaining and uh, trying to figure out, get his head out. And so he did. He has has his head out. Let's see. He's probably gonna swing as he creates distance. Playing the long game here is Oli Thompson. Now just getting out of trouble. Under a minute to go. Suleiman spent a lot of energy in that first three, three and a half minutes trying to finish off Thompson. And now Oli has both underhooks. It's his time to pay back the take now. It is. Tarek Suleiman, what a story. Oli Thompson. After he won against Roman Webbe, man, he felt like he was the king of this organization. He wanted to come back here, second main event in a row, and make a statement. One of those absolute gorgeous gold belts. These championships are just like none other I've ever seen. And, and Owen Thompson wants to take one back to Hastings. Final second in an already entertaining fight. And I think Suleiman's going to have it just on amount, amount of time controlling the fight. But Ole Thompson may have some momentum going into round number two. Thompson, Suleiman, round number one. It's the main event here at UAE Warriors. The crowd is still in it here. They have been here for hours and they continue to bring the heat, show love for the fighters, a lot of support for both guys. There's our lovely UAE Warriors ladies. They're kind of, they're kind of you know, talking about setting a precedent. No, yes, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Pretty, pretty impressive. Let's take a look at the replay. Let's see how it all went down. Oh. That was Tarek just really smashing on Ole Thompson. I think he made a That's mistake. That's the best striking, I think. It's like the best striking I've ever seen out of Tarek. I mean, he looks just like a totally Sharp, different right? fighter. Even though he made a beautiful takedown, I think that was a mistake because he was bad at standing up. He's taking a deep breath right now. And yeah. Ole Thompson is not. I can tell you that right now. Take a look right there at the face of Tarek. Oi Thompson, it's almost like it kind of woke him up, yes. and that could be a problem for Suleiman. I think he made a tactical mistake. Look at that. He doesn't have that He's speed tired. that he had before. Oh, look at the, that. Now Oli will come back. And we know that Tarek has been training for a five-round fight, so it's not like he hasn't been putting in the hours in the gym and, and really preparing for this. But sometimes there's not enough preparation you can do to get ready for a guy like Thompson. Now you can't replicate the, the feeling and the, the adrenaline. It sucks out your energy. You can do 10 rounds in the, in the gym and then you come here and three rounds you're done. Yep. Ole Thompson now starting to pick up a little bit of steam. Getting a little bit more aggressive. 
And why not? He sees a guy that's that's sucking wind right now. It would be very hard for Tarek to come back from this. Uh, he had the better distance, better notion of distance, land low kick, land a land couple of hands, and then try to clinch. That was that was a tactical mistake. Oh, and he's landing again. He landed the jaw again he, with the left hand. But the problem is he's not following it up like he did in the first round. And one shot at a time probably isn't going to be enough. He has oh, to put together combos. Back into the clinch, and now Thompson's going to be able to rest up and recover. Yeah, I don't think this this is a good strategy for him. Oli is this is a bigger guy, heavier guy, so. Oh, he landed a left hook. That's what I'm saying, that uh, the boxing is doing well for him. The clinching is not. I don't know why Ooh, he... Oh, there's another left. He opens up with the boxing and then clinches. That's not, that's not a good idea. He should just stay in the boxing, stay in the, uh, in the distance. Oh! Silomon's starting to get a little bit more energy. Charges forward oh. with the left hand, follows one up with the leather right, and another left. Now they're starting to accumulate on Ole Thompson again. Thompson does not look good right now. A little staggered. Suleiman going for a takedown. He wants to go to the ground. He likes working. And he likes grappling. Yeah, I, I don't think that's a good strategy against Ollie. Looks like he almost had a low blow there, too. Yeah, he threw that yeah. knee. I thought so. I thought it was. Ole shakes it off, though. Oh, there's the left. Watch out. There goes the mouthpiece. Oh. Charging in. Suleiman wants to take advantage of this. Might actually help uh, Oli to re to rest a little bit better. He's got the he's got the arms clasped. He's probably going to get the takedown, and he does. He's going to move up into half guard. He may have something here, Kyle. If he can land some of those hammer punches, those elbows, especially now with all the mouth guard. Oh yeah, and it, and if there's any sort of break in the action, Blake will grab that mouth guard. I think he's noticed that it's out. Yeah, no, he's noticed. He's just waiting for his stable position. And he does, and here we go. Mouthpiece goes back in, and we're back to action. Comes the right hand. Ole doing a great job, though, of working his feet around here. He's going to try to get out of this position. He's going to try to switch and just use raw power, and it looks like he may be onto oh, something. Oh, he actually go for the heel hook. Uh-oh, watch out! Suleiman is in trouble! He's twisting the straight. ankle! Straight knee bar. Does he have it, Kyle? No, no, no. He does it. Oh, and now he's going to pay for it. Here comes the elbows. Tarek Suleiman knows he's that close. Side control, a few hammer fists. Dropping bows on him is Tarek Suleiman. Missing a lot. Oh, he hand, lands How a How bad punch. does he want got, this, Kyle? He got one on the jaw. He gets a few punches in. This is the biggest moment of Suleiman's career. If he doesn't get it, he'll not be able to win. Look at that. He's landing a, a bunch of good punches. And actually, Oli's not he intelligently to, defending himself. Here we go. Now he's trying to free up that right hand. Can he keep him on the ground? One after another. Oli's turning up. We're yeah. going to have a champion. It's that might close. be it. That might be it. He's not defending himself. Oh, he's done. How is he surviving? Blake Rice has given Ole Thompson a lot of respect. Tarek looks at the referee. How much do I have to and punch there he here? Is. There it is. Tarek Suleiman, you are now a world champion. There you have it. Tarek Suleiman. That was a special moment. Ole Thompson, one of the best, that's walked inside of a cage. And tonight, Tarek Suleiman unseated him and became champion. I am blown away. He just, he got this burst of energy. Yeah. And he got it deep down. When his body was telling him no, he, he said yes. He dig deep, pulled that energy. And managed to finish the fight. Oli was unable to defend himself intelligently. The fight goal for Tarek Suleiman. What a special moment here, Kyle. And Tarek Suleiman, our third champion crowned tonight.
It's forming this new organization. Yes. It's breaking Can new you ground. feel it? Yes. Feel it, brother. It's amazing. Let's go put that belt on our new champion. So there you have it, Leandro Polonio. What an event, man. What an event. You feel the energy? Ah, beautiful, man. Beautiful. That's a making of the new event. The belts, their three divisions have their new champions. Absolutely incredible. And Tiger Muay Thai team got three victories today. Yeah, no, amazing performance. Amazing performance. Those guys came really ready for the thing, you know. You know what the beauty is, like watching some such a heavy guys put on that show, putting everything they got. It's just it's simply amazing. So again, like, we have the right, ladies and gentlemen. The fight stops at 4:42 of round number two. Your winner by TKO is strikes, and your new UAE warrior, fight heavyweight champion, Jared the Bear Sulema. There you have it. They are only recognizing. Amazing performance, beautifully done. All the, the the Arabic community here supporting the new Syria, the, the new world champion from Syria. Amazing, and as you said, man, Tiger right. Muay Thai, what a job! <laughs> man, let's bring Fuad Darvish to get this belt. Let's bring Fuad Darvish to the championship, ladies and gentlemen. Let's make this official. Are you ready for this? Oh, thank you, everyone. The title. Here, Here it comes, comes right, right now. now. Oh, look at that title. title. opportunity to, to fight for a world, world championship, championship and you weren't going to let it slip away. away. Talk, Talk about this fight. This is for my home country, Syria. For my city, Jabli. Masna al-Shuhada. Wadi hayi kill al-alam fi Syria. Wa khsusa tabi madin Jibli. Wa kill asdikai. Fi shuhada al-mawjudin bi jannah hella. You know, when you had the problems, you know, when you suffered some losses, you had visa issues, and you had all the reason in the world to maybe step away, you kept coming, you kept fighting. Did you ever think you were going to get to this moment? I, I had a goal in my mind to tell the world, Syrian people are not just refugees, are not people in a war. We're smart people. We're people with big hearts. We love and welcome the whole world, and I expect the same from the entire world as well. So, so proud of you. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen, your new champion. Can you make some noise for Tarek Suleiman? Thank you. Thank you, UAE. You've been great for me. Love you all. I want to send a shout out for my sponsor, Anthony Baladi, and my team, Tiger Muay Thai. I love you all, guys. And my coaches as well. Amazingly done, man. Amazingly. What a message in the end. What a message. Beautifully done. Congratulations, Tarek Suleiman, for the title. Congratulations, UAE Warriors, for such an amazing event. Great things are coming more and more to Abu Dhabi in the, in the fight world. It's just amazing. Congratulations, Palm Sports, everybody. Breaking new ground, UAE Warriors. All right.
You know, the, what an emotional night here, Polonio. You have to be so impressed. That was the best performance, and how fitting the best performance of his career is for a world championship. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful message in the end. And I was saying, man, uh, congratulations to everybody. Congratulations, Tadek. Congratulations, uh, UAE, uh, UAE Warriors. It's yes. such an amazing event, such an amazing card, and things are just, that's just the beginning. Right? Yes, indeed. Three new champions, Rolando D, Amin Ayub, and that man, Tariq Suleiman, celebrating with his country's flags raped over him. That is what we call a night. And folks, we want to thank everybody for joining us wherever you are in the world. As Polonio said, it's only going to get bigger from here. Stay tuned to all of our social media. Stay tuned to the website for our next big event. For Polonio, for Kyle Sabell, and for everybody here at UAE Warriors, thank you so much, and have a great night. Too much emotions. حدثنا على التحضير لهذه المباراة خاصة أن تفتح لك أبواب وأفاق جديدة. التحضير كان كتير جيد بتاجر مويتاي مثل العادة. إن شاء الله. بيكون في تحديات جديدة مقبلة تحديات جديدة نحس كونك تعبت كثير من هذه المباراة مباراة كانت كبيرة أمام أولي تومسون أولي تومسون أنت منعته اليوم من تحقيق انتصاره رقم عشرين الحمد لله بفضل الله وبفضل سوريا وأهلي وفريقي والكل اللي حوالي يشجعوني شو تقول للمنظمين لي يو اي اي ووريرز هنا في أبو ظبي شكرا كثير على الحدث المميز والكثير بروفاشنال وإن شاء الله بكون جزء منه مرة ثانيه شكرا لك طارق خليك تطعم أكثر الفوز مع التيم ومع العائلة شكرا كثير شكرا للجميع شكرا طارق سليمان البطل